Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at using differentials to solve a, a real world application type of problem. And the problem says use differentials to estimate the amount of metal in a closed cylindrical can that is 10 centimeters high, 4 centimeters in diameter. If the metal in the top and the bottom is 0.1 centimeters thick and the metal in the sides is 0 0.05 centimeters thick. So we're going to use differentials here to estimate the metal in the can. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to think of this can as like being empty on the inside, empty on the outside, and the metal is between the inside and the outside of the can. So this can here has a top, which is 0.1 centimeters thick, and a bottom, which is 0.1 centimeters thick, and a wall, which is 0.05 centimeters thick. So that little area or that little volume of those little changes is where the metal actually is. So to get that amount of metal in there, as far as like the volume goes, we want to um, try to estimate delta V. So what's the change in volume from the inside to the outside of the can? Well, the inside of the can is 0.98 centimeters tall. The outside of the can is 10 centimeters tall. So that's a change in height, delta H of, and then there should also, let's see, look at the delta R. R is changing by 0.05, so delta R is 0 0.05. All right, so now we say, okay, the R is the radius of the cylinder, and that's two centimeters because the diameter is four centimeters. The height of the cylinder is 10 centimeters. Now, what we're gonna use to estimate the volume is the volume equation. So the volume equation of a cylinder is V equals pi R squared times H. The base is pi R squared. The height is H. So multiply those two together, we get the volume. So area times height for a cylinder gives you the volume. Now, the differential definition is, in this case, the function is V, which is a function of R and H. As we change the radius, we get a different volume. As we change the height, we get a different volume. So the volume is a function of R and H. It's a multivariable function. And the differential volume, dV, is VR times dR. So the partial derivative of V with respect to R times dR. And then partial derivative of V with respect to H times dH. Well, for the independent variables, delta H and dH are going to be the same and delta R and dR are going to be the same. All right, so now we've got pretty much everything we need. We need to calculate V sub R, and V sub R is going to be the partial derivative with respect to R, which is 2 pi R H, and the partial derivative with respect to H is going to just be pi R squared. So now what we want to do is evaluate V R at these two, these two R and H values, and then evaluate VH at these two R and H values. So VR of 2 comma 10 will be equal to 2 pi R, which is 2, H, which is 10. So that's going to be 40 pi. So that's our V sub R evaluated at that point. And V sub H evaluated at that point, 2 comma 10, is going to be pi times 2 squared, which is 4 pi. Now, we take these numbers and plug them in. So dv is going to equal 40 pi times dr, which is 0 0.05, plus v sub h, which is 4 pi, times dh, which is 0 0.2. So we add these two together, we get 40 pi times, let's see, um, 0 0.05 is 1 over 20, plus 4 pi times 1 over 5. If we add these two together, we get, uh, let's see, this is going to be 2 pi plus 4 pi over 5. Find a common denominator, multiply top and bottom by 5 here, we get 10 pi. So 10 plus 4 pi is um, 14 pi, so that's going to be 14 pi over 5 um, centimeters cubed. And that is the volume 
that the can occupies. Well, it's an approximation of the volume that the can occupies. The actual volume that the can occupies is delta V, which is the volume outside minus the volume inside. And that would be, mm, let's see, pi times 2 squared times 10 minus pi times 1.95 squared times 9.8, because those are the dimensions of the volume outside the can, or from the exterior of the can, and then here's the volume from the interior of the can. And then the volume in between those is the actual delta V. So this dV, the differential, is approximating the actual. That's the, the thing to remember. So this 14 pi over 5 is an approximation for this number down here. And you can evaluate both of these and kind of compare what they are, but that's the idea of a differential. It's an approximation for an actual change. And that's how we do it.